Hi there, I'm Jamie Keith and welcome to Futures Tech. Tonight we're going to take a look at Gmail and basic customization of it. Uh, if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below or subscribe to my channel for weekly tech videos. So the first thing I want to show you is the customization and many of you have already probably played with customization but if you haven't it's kind of a neat way and for your students to kind of customize their own email. Uh, to go there uh, just go to uh, themes here right under settings here and uh, once you go to themes you can see there are a number of different uh, of, of themes that you can choose. So I'm going to pick one but I'm going to change it to show you an example how you can choose your own picture too. So let's say if I just pick this one right here, let it save and you can see that uh, the image of the insect is in the background there. Uh, the other thing you can do, if I'm just going to go back to my themes again, uh, if you have a photo you really like uh, to upload it, you can do that too. So if I click on my photos down here, and I've already uploaded a couple of photos here, I'm just going to use my twin picture here, and uh, I'll use that one, check it, and select it. And you can see it goes over here, and now if I save it, I have a picture of my twins in the background here. So I can do a couple other things to uh, that to add some customization too. So if I go to uh, back to my themes under this picture here, you can see I can delete it right here from it. But at this point too, I can change uh, if I wanted to uh, to blur the background a little bit uh, at different uh, different parts. You can see how it's changing in the background right now. It's blurring. I could um, add a, a vignette to it, and I'll just show the example of that. And you can see how it darkens around the edges. And the other thing is I can change my uh, text from light to dark. So if I wanted to do a uh, dark one, this is how I would do it. I'm just going to leave this one as, uh, as light. Uh, but then you would just hit save at the end. So that's kind of a cool way to just make some quick changes uh, to it. The other way when you start uh, with your Gmail account, you have these tabs across uh, the top of it. And what you can do is you can change those tabs too. So if I just go uh, here, uh, to my settings and then configure my inbox here. You can see uh, the ones that are listed. I only have primary and promotions, but maybe you have, whether you have things from Facebook or YouTube coming in and you want a third tab or you could have more. Each of these explains uh, what each of these will do. And then you can see if you want your starred. So the stars are usually when you have something important to uh, put in and then that will keep it in your primary as long as you keep this checked here. So if I just hit save and give it a second here, you can see now I have my tabs that um, I can switch behind between and in this case I don't use this account for my Facebook or anything so that's why uh, right now you'll see most of these are empty here so uh, talking about stars already what you can do so if a message is important uh, you can click on the stars here to uh, you know to indicate that it's important but you can customize those stars uh, also so if I go back over to my settings here and I'm just going to scroll down. You can see it says stars right here. Uh, so right now there's only one star uh, selected. So let's, uh, for example, if I have my four stars here and I can play around, uh, I can uh, I can drag these around to what stars I want uh, just by dragging them up and picking which ones I want here. Um, at the end, once you do anything in your settings, make sure you scroll down to the bottom and hit the save changes there or else it won't uh, take place. So now if I go back and hit my stars, I can just go through and tab through if I just keep clicking until I have the one that I correctly indicates the, uh, the message here too. So another thing is uh, when you first get started, uh, across the top you can see there's all these uh, icons here and I don't mind the icons but let's say for instance uh, I know sometimes before you know what they are uh, it can be a little confusing you might just want it in words what they are so again go back to your settings here and we're just looking for I'm gonna make sure I find it here so right through right down to here you can see there's buttons and labels here and so you can switch to uh, text here so if I hit again hit save and now when I go back to my messages here, you can see up top it says back, archive, spam, delete. So you have a choice of how, uh, if you want it from icon or to Word. And lastly, what I want to show you is the panel view. So if you're out to, used to Outlook, uh, you can change uh, the way that your email is set up and visually there too. So um, if I go back over to my settings, and this time I'm going to go to the end, one second, third to the end, the labs one here. And I'm going to be looking for... Uh, 
my just make sure I find it here. Oh, it's right up top here. My preview pane, and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. I've already enabled this actually before, but yeah, a lot of times it will become disabled, and then make sure it hits enabled, and then just go down and make sure you hit save. But I don't have to hit the save because I've already uh, saved it. And then once it's uh, once it's in, if I go over to uh, over up to up here, you can see I can do no split, which I'm on right now, or I can do a vertical split which uh, now in this case, kind of like your outlook here that it will come over on the right hand side, or I can do the horizontal and the message will um, go below. So these are just some tips that uh, I do kind of before I set up my email and tell my kids to do um, if they want to customize and if they're used to finding their messages in a certain way. I'm going to continue this series um, on Gmail and how to kind of uh, get used to all the ins and outs of it. Outs of it. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, please. Any comments or any tricks or tips that you've seen, please make a comment uh, down below so I can add it into more videos. I'll see you next time.